Everywhere I go nowadays, I see boxing fans. They come up to me and the first thing they say is, I put a lot of money on you for your last fight. You lost me money. I put a few grand on you. I say to each of them, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Because basically, I remember when I fought Derry Matthews, people won like two, three, four, five, six, seven grand on me. People won all that money on me and you know what? I didn't see any of that shit. So if you put a bet on me and you lost that shit, don't come up to me and complain because if you won that shit, you weren't going to give me any of that shit. So keep your shit to yourself. For my next fight, I'm back to my winning ways. If anyone wants to work out a deal of how much of your winnings you want to give me, then private message me and let me know. Those are the words of O'Hara Davis <laughs> speaking in the wake of his loss to Josh Taylor. Uh, I have to agree with O'Hara here. People complaining that he lost the fight. I mean, the only way you can complain to a fighter about losing a fight is if you think the fighter may be through the fight. You know, if you think maybe the fighter um, took a dive, there was some type of corrupt activity there, then maybe you could complain. But there was nothing like that in this fight. O'Hara Davis just got beaten by the better man. And that's what happens. You can't blame O'Hara. All you can do is blame yourself for your bad judgment. You you put a lot of money on him to win over Josh Taylor. I mean, that was far from a sure bet. You know, I had to sit on the fence for the fight because I was so unsure about who was going to win. So putting grands on it and then complaining that you lost your money sounds like foolishness to me. Sounds like you weren't you know, uh, you weren't knowledgeable enough about the fighters to realize the risk that you were taking. So no point in blaming O'Hara, blame yourself. <laughs> up your knowledge of boxing, up your understanding of, you know, the, 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 the fight game. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, some people might say, well, you can complain because O'Hara quit. The least we can expect from a fighter is for them not to quit but do you think if O'Hara hadn't quit he would have won it looked like Josh Taylor had all bases covered to me so would you have got your money back if O'Hara hadn't quit I don't think so <laughs> would you have won your bet I don't think so so anyway and like he says it, 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 it kind of reminds me of when people complain about certain trainers. When a trainer's fighter loses, they want to criticize the trainer. But then those same people are never around to say anything when one of those, uh, one of that trainer's fighters wins. It's like Virgil Hunter. Virgil Hunter, as soon as Amir Khan loses or any of his fighters lose, people are saying he's a terrible trainer. Then when one of his fighters wins, nobody's saying anything. Those same people don't praise him. You have to you know, praise and criticize appropriately. You can't just praise somebody, sorry, you can't just criticize somebody for their failings without praising them for their uh, achievements. So it's the same here. <laughs> you know, you can't complain if a fighter loses and, lo and loses you money. But when you win money on that fighter, what, you don't want to share the money? Like, <laughs> you don't want to go and congratulate the fighter and this, that, and I mean... You have to take the rough with this movement. So anyway, drop your comments below. It's happening. I'm out.